Hi, we're back in with some V-Build action, and we're st this is part two of the April Fool's Day V-Build stream. As you can tell, it's part two because we got some just some crazy, some crazy macking going what? on here. What? You see that? What? I leave the room for like five minutes. What is this? What did you do? Sodomy. But she's... <sighs> she has a tail. So? Look where it is. She's she's just warming up. She's getting ready for it. Look, it's posable. It's all it's bendy and stuff. Are you trying to tell me something? Shh, look at that. It opens and everything, and then you push when you push the nub in the middle, it closes. <sighs> anyway, that stuff's in the way. April Fools, guys. <laughs> We're gonna build some microns. Yay! Uh, these are a pair of AMW releases for. Uh, Arms Micron toys I don't have the big versions of. So this is the little guy who came with Cliff Jumper, and this is the little guy who came with Bulkhead. And for the AMW releases, this guy's green instead of red, this guy's blue instead of whatever Bulkhead's was. Um, so this little guy is called Shell. And we're going to do things classic style here. I'm going to actually just cut out pieces and put it together. So this, this hopefully will not take super long. I always say that. Yay! All right, Blitzwinger says, Vangelist, did you see the Mass Effect figures are 50% off on HLJ? Which ones? He says he got Garrus for $30. Oh, the player it's Kaiser? Sweet. They probably don't have Tali. Damn it. Uh, Kryn, do you know who Tali is? Um, Mass uh, Effect? Mm, no. All right, chat. No need to tell her who, who Tali is, because you know that's that's special business between me and, and my video game. <clears throat> uh, hmm. Kryn, don't look up Tally Mancer. Because uh, you don't need to. This and Fred says it's a space gypsy. Maybe. A space gypsy. Gypsy is kind of an unpleasant word to use about my Tally, FYI. Pseudo Russian character question mark. <laughs> oh man. Space Romani. I'm surprised no one reacted to Tallymancer. That really would have said it all, I thought. It sounded I don't know. Taliban. Oh. Her name is actually Tally uh Zora Vas Normandy. Is her name? Uh -huh. <clears throat> Uh, Distant Fred says, Kryn and Kryn's boyfriend, I think that's you. Wow. Mark Mir <laughs> did an episode of CBC's The Debaters where he argued either for or against sapient AIs. Vangelis, what is your favorite episode of TF Prime? One with Tali in it, obviously. Mm. I have seen most of the TF Primes and I don't recall that. Yeah, well, it's Beast Hunters thing. But why don't you elucidate that for me? Uh, that's a fancy word, and I don't know what it means. You know what it means. How do you know that? Because I saw it in your Google search earlier today. <laughs> Look, sometimes you just want to confirm things before it's, you say them. It's from Latin. What's that? Latin is an old language that we get a lot of our our words from. I like it when you say Latin. Latin. It's a lux do. So it's like to give out of light, to elucidate, to enlighten. Oh. I'm learning. You are. <laughs> Just Fred says, it must be in the Beast Hunters premiere then, Crin. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bunny Cliff is back. Says, is the toy burnt yet? Why would I burn my toy? <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> is it burnt yet? No. Is it burnt now? No. Is it on fire? No. Why not? I don't, doing your own. I don't do that kind of thing anymore. Uh, they talked to me at the, 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 the police hall and they said you have to stop, so I stopped. Hmm. I'm being instructed to find your iPhone and look at something. Where's your iPhone? Uh, I don't have one. I think I see it. Nope, you don't. Okay. And even if you did see it, I don't play Hero Academy on my iPhone, sucker. <laughs> Saber Frost says you're a known liar, Evangelist. I'm a non liar? Thank you. Known. Known. You said non. No, I didn't. I heard non. You heard wrong. Nope. Dang it. Huge spoiler, Evangelist does reviews. Nope. That's a lie. That is a lie. 
Hey. Stop lying. What are you trying to say about me? <laughs> Nothing you didn't say? No. Oh, Megabat Megabatimus is a hater. He's a hater of TF Prime. It says, the best TF Prime episode doesn't exist because Prime sucks. Did he call himself a hater? I called him a hater. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I guess you're just gonna, gonna bury the lead, sure. <laughs> mm. Draymond says, what are we building tonight? Arms Microns. Arms and Microns. Nope, just arms microns. But. Nope. But. Nope. Do you know how big a micron is? This is a capital M micron. TM. Mm hmm. Not one of your science microns. You know, the science microns are more real. Nope. Yeah, they are. Do they go on adventures? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Prove it. Where's the DVD? <laughs> um, let me get some Bill Nye. <laughs> Bill Nye is not canon. <laughs> Alright. From Aaron. Chris, question for you. Should what? I weigh the package when it shows up for comparison purposes? No. No, I don't think so. No, because Aaron is a junkie with a problem, <laughs> and we're not. No, we're not. So, ours is fun and innocent. Aaron's are scary and indicative <laughs> of a tortured mind. Oh, I want to have a tortured mind. Oh, we can get there. I'm working on it. Mm. Well. He says, hey, I take these things seriously. You know what we could do is put something heavy in the middle. Does Does Aaron know how long we were? There were three of us in that Lego store. There were. There were three. Yeah. He says, get everything you can for your money. We tried. <laughs> yeah, we did a pretty good job, I think. I mean, all things considered. <laughs> I say we get, like, a ball of lead and put that in there. And then shape it like a Lego. Put a ball of lead into his toy? <laughs> no, into the thing we can't say what it is. Oh. Yeah. Lead in toys? That's racist. <laughs> He's <said>, you're racist. <laughs> What's wrong with lead? It's delicious. Hey, listen, I have my best moments when I think with lead. What? <laughs> Blocks radiation. Uh, Aaron, just wanted to make sure you didn't half-ass it. No, we didn't. We tried really hard. Corinne, did I half-ass it? No. That's right. A friend of mine was also with us, and we all worked very hard to try to make it really good. Yeah, we triple-teamed that thing. Hey. What? Are you saying things? No, I'm seeing we triple teamed it because three of us worked on it. <laughs> Giga Beetle says, ah, some Google later and I know what a tally mentor is. Oh. Well. <laughs> Why yeah. would you ever look that up? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I guess I, I don't need to know. I, I, I guess I don't want to know. Listen, Tally is just, you know, Tally is a very special, special person. What is it, like dead? No. Is it a dead person? Tally is a Quarian um, uh -huh. alien race that uh -huh. uh, mankind will discover when we take to the stars. Okay, go on. That's all. Yeah, well, what are some of the characteristics of this alien race? Uh, they travel in a fleet of ships because their home planet was taken over by uh, machines that they created. And they all wear environmental suits because their immune systems are so... Um, ill-equipped for everything. Aaron says, stares off into distance. <laughs> and someone says, we should send Aaron a mix of Mega Blocks and Legos. Oh, don't worry, I got that covered. <laughs> Evangelist, do a Peter Cullen impression. Why? I want to hear a Peter Cullen impression. I don't know how to do a Peter Cullen impression. Who's Peter Cullen? You do... Oh man, the chat's gonna chat. <laughs> oh, you better man. do the voice so I can figure out who it is. Just, just go check the chat. Just I'm looking. Trust, They're trust not me. saying anything helpful. They'll, they'll say something. They're saying I need to steal a boat and get my ass to Mars. Well, I think they said that to Aaron actually. What? I don't know. <laughs> it's chat. The chat is wonderful. I love the chat. There is such a lag. Always says, it's okay, Kryn. We blame not Kryn for not keeping you informed. 
<laughs> I have a name. <laughs> yeah, it's not Kryn. No. <laughs> Peter Cullen, Peter Cullen. It's I, Optimus in the movies. I cook and I, I... I probably knew that at one point, but I just didn't remember. He was also Optimus in the 80s. He was the original Optimus. Oh. Oh. I cooked dinner tonight. I have a name. Yeah, he made a big mess. No, I didn't. I cleaned it. Yeah, but I cooked it. Meh. And we didn't eat it. <laughs> well, we're gonna. I, I assume. <laughs> at some point. <laughs> Bunny Clip says, are we just calling him not Crin? <laughs> Rather than the great destroyer of all toys now? I have a name. What would you rather be called, Not Crin or the Great Destroyer of All Toys? The great Destroyer of All Toys is pretty badass. Yeah. Also, this little guy turns into a gun. FYI. Uh, Distant Fred says you are Milk Daddy. Yeah. Bunny Cliff says I just called HK Hong Kong. Huh? I, I don't know. I think he called Hong Kong. Why is he calling Hong Kong? I don't know. Don't talk to them. <laughs> Distant Fred says, hey, Milk Daddy, thoughts on the Micron? I, I, I bet I could totally hook it up with a tiny woman. What? That's a Milk Daddy thing. Oh, I don't oh, know. I kind of remember that now. I forgot if I showed you Milk Daddy. Yeah, I've seen it. I didn't get it. I'm really surprised anyone I, I got it. I didn't get it. Some of it I was like, holy cow, how long did you talk into the camera for? It's like one long take and it never stopped. I had and cue I was, cards. I was like amazed that you were able to go on so long. There were tons of cuts. They're just invisible because <laughs> the editor, uh, Jacob, is very talented. All right, Cyan Thief says, so not Crin. I think that's you. How about that DX Shinkin O at TRU? I saw one at Toys R Us. Crin, that's the Japanese Megazord that uh, I saw at Toys R Us. Remember that? And I was like, hey, look, it's a Japanese toy with wrapping on the bottom. Yes, I do. And, and I wanted it, except I saw the price, and I thought the price was stupid, so I put it back down. Do you prefer Mr. Vangelis or Mr. Ho? Um, I don't, I don't know. I mean, Mr. Vangelis is a bit more jovial, I suppose. <laughs> Mr. Ho is your dad. Yeah. Crin and Chris. Hey, you got a, a not non Crin. Hey. Did you guys think of going to the 80s Toy Expo together? Um... I forgot, did we? Uh, I don't think we discussed it at all. Oh. I wasn't invited. You're always invited. Dang it. Where's the chain? Distant Fred says, what even happened to MC Paddington's Tiny Women's Milk Daddy? Well, I'm working on it. Giggy Beetle says, do these microns oh, float? Sink them in water. They have paper stickers, no. Look, are... look at this. Look, the chain's attached to the sprue, and I didn't even see it. Ooh, it's Actual invisible chain. until you look at it. Actual chain. Ooh. It says, put the blue one in the water before you sticker it up. No, that's cheating. <sighs> it's not cheating. It's being smart. It won't rust. It's plastic. I'm always... I'm, I'm being smart. Water is really good for it. It will help to clean it. No. Yeah? Prove it. Water is very polar and will pull off lots of nasty molecules that are stuck to it. This plastic is nonpolar. There, I proved it. With science. Really good science. <laughs> Milk Daddy and Curran, have you considered adult type mature entertainment for adults together, like going to a Buffalo Sabres game? Ha! <laughs> Buffalo Sabres. <laughs> so I don't know anything about the Buffalo Sabres, but Curran <laughs> regards them with such utter contempt and derision. <laughs> Oh, God. Not as bad as Buffalo Bills, of course. <laughs> wow. It's, I, don't, I don't know where this you is You don't even from. know what I'm talking about. I, it's American football. Buffalo Bills are awful. This They're is like, so bad. This is like con just pure hatred that's coming out. Nah. I, do you even like football? Nope. Well, then what? Nope, but I have to listen to everybody at work talk about it. Do they not like the, the Buffalo Bills? Some of them do, but they're sadly disillusioned. I hope you don't have any Bills fans in the chat. I mean, you just crushed their world. Um, hey, uh, people who like toys, um, are you guys into football? <laughs> Some of them are. Hmm. Some of them are. See so what now? Kryn, you should convince the Chinese hustler to throw more toys in a tub of water. <laughs> I'm trying. Now I'm the Chinese hustler? 
<laughs> I think you should sing some notorious MSG now. What 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 did I do to everyone? <laughs> Pixar Prime says you won't put a micron in water, but you will put the two hundred dollar Cyclops in water. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously. <laughs> Somebody asked, Kryn, where are you from? Where am I from? The moon. I'm from the moon. I love the moon. It's very dry there. It needs water. Water like for throwing your toys in to see if they float. You have a very one track mind. Nuh uh. Yep. Hey, you know what? You have a shark too, and sharks like water. Um, space robot sharks don't necessarily like water, actually. <sighs> That's racist. Wow. Damn it. Dremen says, how do you like your new thing, Vangelis, being the guy who puts toys in water? Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm glad that I was able to, like, be double clever and get ahead of the curve of not actually bringing it up very much. Uh, it was, it was entirely up to the comment section of the videos to keep bringing it up, and I was like, man, I didn't have to worry about when the joke would be dead, because everyone's done it already. So I just, I just let it fly. Giga Beetle says, is that a sea urchin, Micron? It does look like a sea urchin. It's a little, just fat little man who turns into a wrecking ball. Because <laughs> these, these are Autobot Microns, so they're, they're not supposed to be animals. Uh, sea urchin is, is very close to, to what he comes off looking as. But Oh, I love sea urchins. They're cute. This guy actually has a German name. What is it? Beha. Beha? Yeah. It's BH for bulkhead. But for whatever reason, the katakana oh. reads Beha, so his name is actually German. Huh. I get it. Sunnydale says, not Krennin, not Vangelis. Oh, snap. I play wow. football, lol. Not Krennin, not Vangelis. That is like a new level of <laughs> negation that actually leaves me vaguely confused. <laughs> the Gabator says, you just hurt the Micron's feeling by calling it fat. <laughs> well, what is it then? Look at it. It is a little fat man robot. Uh, Disney said, said, that doesn't sound German enough. It's actually how you say the letters B-H in German. Beha. Yeah. Let's see. Aaron says, LOL, microns don't have feelings, just like gingers. <laughs> Those those A falls, let me tell you what. Does Vangelis own any D arts? Um, yeah, I've got the uh the Rockman X and the Zero and for some reason I pre ordered the Mewtwo. I don't remember why I did that anymore. I think it's because Mewtwo is the only thing I have any nostalgia for from Pokemon. Because uh, I had a Mewtwo in Pokemon. Because uh, he was a rare monster who was all badass and stuff, so I called him Apocalypse. And I trained him up because I was really cool back when I was like 14 or whatever. Um, do you own any darts, like for pub games? Um, not in Toronto, but back in uh, BC, I did actually have a pretty mean-looking little set of darts. You any good at it? Nope, I was terrible at it. <laughs> in fact, I often kept the darts locked up because I was more or less mortally petrified that I would manage to horrifically injure myself with them. Hmm. Hmm. One of the guys at my work is like a darts champion type. Oh. He showed me how to do it and he said I had a natural talent. I haven't tried since. <laughs> I have no talent at darts whatsoever. <laughs> pew! Pew, pew, pew. These instructions are tiny! <laughs> to get out your microscope. <laughs> Saber Frost says, it's a ball, it's obese. Oh, poor little obese ball, sea urchin ball. Obese ball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, any reason you didn't get the vile D arts, or have you just not gotten around to it yet? Oh, no, so I, I, I forgot about that one. I did get the vile D arts. I got that through, uh, through Automaton. Vile was, uh, was called Vava in, in Japan. Hmm. He is the badass Mega Man who had the Boba Fett head. Okay, I have a question for you, because I don't know if this person is referring to you or someone in the chat. Mm -hmm. Are you Hong Kong Fui? Uh, well, I do know Scat, and I do know Kung Fu, but I am not Hong Kong Fui. Okay, so you, 
So it doesn't matter if you're excited for third party animated stuff or not, because they're not talking about you. I'm excited for for third party animated stuff. <laughs> do you have any G1 headmasters, Vangelis? I do. <laughs> Would you like to expand on that thought? Wow, wow, getting the third degree here, I suppose. Uh, I got a couple of them. I got I got Scorponok and I got Brainstorm and Highbrow. Do you like them? Yeah. Some of my favorite G1 toys. Hmm. 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 They're just saying stuff. Well, what are they saying? Bunny Clip says, Vile's a scumbag. Well, his name's Vile. <gasps> Ooh, here's a good question. Vangelis and chat room, is BotCon worth going? Because I'm in the city where BotCon is in. If you're in the city, it's worth going. Because then you're not mm. paying an airline ticket. And you're potentially not even paying for a hotel. Although, if you do go to a convention in your hometown, unless you live across the street from the convention center, I would highly recommend trying to get in on the hotel if possible and if you can afford it. But by all means, like, you know, make that the first thing you don't pay for. How would you feel if they made a third party animated Vangelis? Uh, I'd feel pretty honored, pretty touched. By the way, look at this little man here. This is his robot mode. Tell me, uh. what does he look like? He looks like an Aztec mask. He looks like a little fat dude. That's his head up there. <laughs> These are his arms. He looks like a... <laughs> really messed up. <laughs> Let me transform him for you. Oh. Wow. Now he looks like a little spaceship. With, um... What do you call it? Like an array antenna. He's a little, little wrecking ball mode. Wow, that just like came out of nowhere. Where was that? Woo! <laughs> yeah, New York City, <laughs> New Year's 2010. What? 2010. Oh, you killed. <gasps> Shh, I have crazy neighbors. Oh, they won't mind. <laughs> I just knocked a thing over. Oh. Man, you do have crazy neighbors. <laughs> I don't like them. Um, well. That's a V build done again. Ooh, that was fast. Yeah, uh, I built a pair of little men. Mm-hmm. Um, they're pretty cool. We've got I've got one more thing we can do that we could actually do together. Uh oh. So. Okay. Let's uh, call it on this one, and then we'll be back to finish off this trilogy of Ooh. April Fool's Day 2013 V build videos. This is the fattest thing I'm gonna build. <laughs> Oh, look at the size of his butt. <laughs> Maybe he shouldn't be anthropomorphized. What a terrible, sad existence Beha le leads. I mean, like this. You're judging. It's so mean. Well, I mean, look at him. He could have a glandular disease. Yeah, like, look at him. I'm looking. There's nothing right about this little guy. He's, mm. he's He is literally a walking joke. His brain could be in his butt, which means he's real smart. What are they? I don't know. <laughs> Man. No one's standing up for him, that's for sure. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a tumor. <laughs> I never want a tumor like that. Because there's a chain that comes out of the back. <laughs> that comes out of his butt. Yeah. He's a very special little urchin. There's nothing right about Beha. Beha, you need to go home. Okay. Oh. Bye.